you know something i don't want it to be this way when they lose every time but they just make it they make it impossible they make it impossible to cope with losing because every single thing that could have went wrong tonight went wrong Mets lose seven to one to the washington nationals every team loses games i understand that and you're gonna get beat and it's not gonna be pretty at times I i'm trying not to feel exactly terry collins quote there but you're gonna get beat and sometimes you are going to get beat emphasizing the beat part there but on the other side of the baseball diamond you have patrick corbin who has been one of the worst pitchers in all of baseball and somehow some way three hits three on one hand still on one hand for the entire game four hits tonight before we jump into the game in terms of the details of it and everything every reason i do this thing um but give a like if you subscribe if you guys are new i upload um it's funny you know it's funny how this sport does it, it's just it's just funny it's comical right talking about how this is the game that you look on paper they had to have this one said it on the podcast been saying it this was the mets game to lose here they had every single advantage every single thing that the mets needed they had lined up and instead every single thing imaginable went wrong tonight where do we start oh yeah the nationals took a lead in the first inning Luis garcia with a home run to make it a one to nothing game early oops all right let's see how the mets respond escobar third inning home run moonshot escobar heating up a bit maybe don't let escobar get hot actually please do Girls are cruising along through five innings. And uh-oh. Uh-oh. After the fifth inning, uh-oh. Max Scherzer hurts. Great. So, um, by the way, I don't have this on for fun. I got a tattoo. Um, but... Yeah, so Max Scherzer, uh, left side tightness report. I'm not sure how long he's going to miss, but holy crap. Why does it have to be this way? Why? I guess I forgot to give a little credit in the third inning to that heads up double play ball there. Uh, Tommy Hunter comes in. Made a little shaky, allowed two hits, but you know what? He got through it. Right now, Manessas. And that's. Couldn't get hits. They couldn't. Had an indoor single in the first inning. Third inning, yes, more home run. Or two with a single in the third. And then it was nap time for the Mets offense. Welly, pitch a great game. Joelly, I thought, was had one of his better outings and seems to be getting better lately. So I hope that ends up being the case. But what does it matter? Because the team. Adam Bonavino comes in and has a home run the lane. Thomas hangs a slider right over the plate. And, and Thomas jumps all over it. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? Um, it's like. I can't be mad at Ottavino, like some people are on Twitter, because the reaction I'm seeing is 
oh, well, this is why Adovino is awful, and I, I can't trust him. If that's your reaction after he allows a run, um, I don't want any of you that said any of that to tell me I'm overreacting to this because I can understand that a pitcher is not going to be perfect the whole way through the season. It's unrealistic, and Adovino threw a pitch that he probably wants back, and it is what it is. But I'm not going to be harsh on him because he's been lights out for us all year and he's not going to be perfect the whole way through. Just like with Diaz, he's not going to be perfect the whole way through. It's the reality of the situation. Eighth inning, Forte, the last hit of the day for the Mets. And then the ninth inning. Because the Mets... Couldn't do anything. Vogel, uh, Vogel back, by the way. Worst at bat uh, as never had in the Mets jersey. Three pitch strikeout. Facing that high cheese. Embarrassing. And face the leadoff walk there. Ninth inning. Because the Mets couldn't score. We got to watch Adonis Medina come into the game. And. Yep. Any chance that the Mets had, the white flag was waved. Luke Voigt, get on base. Hey, Ruiz, have yourself a double. And uh, Palacios, have yourself an RBI single. Vargas, have a single. Abrams, have an RBI single. Lane Thomas, have an RBI single. Then they bring Bryce Montez de, uh, de Oca into the game to make his MLB debut. That was the first pitch single. He would get on base. And he was all right. Got a strikeout. Walked call. Whatever. Flies out. And that's no competitive at-bats in the bottom of the ninth at all. So even if you disagree with them bringing Medina in, what would it have mattered? Because this team not score runs against Patrick Corbin nonetheless. Thank you. I, Patrick Corbin, pitched seven innings against us. Had three hits. I, if somebody told you before the game, the hits would be final score would be seven to one. Pitching matchup. Ninety nine percent of people, except for people that are just being either sarcastic or. Just throwing out a random guess. 99% of people tell you the Mets win that game. And. Nope. Nope. No. No. Scherzer. He looked off also. Um, that's for sure. Five strikeouts. Five innings pitched. Three hits. One earned run. A lot of walk. A lot of home run. Let's hope that he's okay. Um, if he misses any significant time. Um. I, I I won't know. Yeah, you know, uh, I mean, right. Okay. Tommy Hunter, uh, two hits, strikeout, one inning of work. Uh, Tommy Hunter, okay, got out of the jam. Dwelly, probably the best pitcher for the Mets of the day. He looked great. Uh, allowed a hit, got a strikeout, but he still looked uh good. Not gonna be mad about how Joelli performed today. Thought he was good. Ottavino, definitely an off night. Allowed two hits. Allowed a run. Home run. Um, Yeah, Ottavino didn't have it tonight, and it happens. And lights out for us, so not going to bash him for that. Again, what does it matter when your offense? Nothing. Jonas Medina got one out. About five hits. Four earned runs and a walk. I do not want him coming to another game, especially down the stretch here. Unless we are up by a absurd amount of runs. Montez de Oca looked okay in his MLB debut. Got a strikeout, a lot of walk, a lot of hit. He was all right. But then the lineup. But then the lineup. Brandon Nemo. 
Guess what I'm going to say. 0 for 4. Yep, you said it with me. Charlie Marte, 2 for 4 on the day. Uh, the only one who actually decided to show up. Thank you. Windor, 1 for 4. Thank you for actually getting a hit today. Rare. Both of them struck out. Um, Arcana. Or no, I skipped that. That's Alonzo. Because guess what I'm going to say? Pete Alonzo. Say it with me. 0 for 4. Arcana. Say it with me. 0 for 4. Darren Ruff. 0 for 3. Striking out two times. Who's shocked? Not this guy. Tyler Naquin. 0 for 1. Striking out. Who's surprised? Not this guy. Jeff McNeil, 0 for 3. Couple poor defensive plays as well. Um, and it sucks because McNeil's look great defensively this year. Not going to bash on him too much, but at the plate, he did uh, him to show up. Escobar, 1 for 2 with a walk and strike out. Eh, guess I'm happy with Escobar's day. Uh, McCann, 0 for 1. And got a walk. And he actually hit the ball pretty decently in that out. And again, I know that we, I shouldn't be giving claps for making contact with the baseball here. But again, James McCann it is what it is. Uh, Vogie, 0 for 1. Not a good at bat. And yeah, overall, a awful day. Only had two opportunities with runners in scoring position. They went 0 for 2. Five guys left on. They couldn't do anything tonight. They couldn't put together quality at bats at all. Marlins and Braves tied right now in the bottom of the ninth. Braves with one guy on and no outs. Um. Carl. Carrasco versus Fetty. What are you going to get from Carrasco? Um, I guess it's five, six innings. Trevor Williams hasn't been used in a couple weeks. What are you going to get from him? I don't know. I don't know. But, um, need a win tomorrow because not be losing a series to the Washington Nationals. Not. And I can't move by the loss easily, especially because uh, especially if the Braves win. I will not be able to move by this, but I'm one run, one run tonight. Rasmo Ramirez are better pitchers in the bullpen if he's back on this team. Watching him. Make that's look stupid in the ninth inning. Seconds me. Seconds me. It really does. Um It's just like when when are we gonna see consistency? You know? They're sprinkling in a couple of these games. You had the seven runs last night, you had the seven or eight, whatever many runs against the Rockies. You're seeing it sprinkled in a bit here and there. The, the offense exploding. But when are we going to see some consistency? That's all I'm asking for. That's all I'm asking for. I'm not asking for much here. It's consistency. That would be nice. That would be great. Um, Back at it again at 1 o'clock tomorrow. For the rubber match, which the Mets are... Good in rubber matches. Knocking on wood there. And, yeah. Take it down. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, subscribe if you guys are new. Turn on notifications. I'll see you next one.